I am Megan Smith-Miller, and this is my presentation for cross-cultural management with Marcel Wilson-Davis. It is the corporate merger between Tyson Foods and Hillshire Brands. Tyson Foods was founded in 1929 by John Tyson and is a family-owned company. Hillshire Brands also began as a family company in 1934, but was later sold to Sara Lee and rebranded. In 2014, Tyson acquired Hillshire Brands. Tyson's beef and pork production has expanded due to this acquisition. Both companies have beef facilities in Mexico and export their products around the world. Tyson's vision and mission statements provide the baseline for how the merger between these two companies was to be handled. Tyson's mission statement is large and is represented in three main topics, who we are, what we do, and how we do it. Hillshire is now a part of our company and is expected to learn our values and to use them as guidelines in decision making. Our vision statement is equally as important because it highlights our desire to be a global innovator. With using the word global, we are clearly indicating that we want to be more than just an American-based company. Crossing cultures with our products and jobs helps to grow our business. The first thing we did after acquiring Hillshire was to create new leadership teams with members from both companies. This splendid team is there to learn how best to lead the new Hillshire employees following the Tyson values. This is important because it helps the acquired Hillshire employees to see leaders they already know and trust still in leadership roles. Having an internal support system is something that creates a sense of belonging during a time of uncertainty until the teams can be fully blended. It is important for the acquired employees to know that while the company is now owned by Tyson, they are still Hillshire brands, but certain operations will change. Providing them with our vision and mission statements helps them to create a baseline of understanding for the policies presented to them. While we have been exporting our product for years, we recently began constructing factories in China. The Chinese have consumption of poultry is rising. Our Tyson system is to backwards integrate our chicken farms, which means we contract with local farmers and process their birds in our factories. This matters to the consumer because it is still a way for them to support local farmers, and farmers are regularly inspected to make sure they are meeting our standards for quality and cleanliness. The Chinese and American cultures have many similarities. Within the GLOBE study, both scored similarly in areas of charisma, team-oriented leadership, participative, and humane leadership. With our backwards integration strategy, we are building our company into the Chinese culture. We want to ensure that we are giving back to the Chinese with our expansion. Our leadership teams in China are composed of both Chinese and American leaders who are to learn from one another on how to lead their new blended teams. These collaborative teams have Tyson's core values to fall back on. We must ensure that managers are working together and not dividing team members among themselves. Chinese leaders should have teams of both equally Chinese and American workers and vice versa. Leaders are to work together to discuss how to lead the cultures within their teams. Building a support system for managers helps facilitate an easier communication between managers and employees. Creating blended teams of both Chinese and American leaders helps to make both of the large employee cultures feel supported. This gives them a sense of safety and allows them to continue upwards within Maslow's hierarchy. Making sure all team members are receiving the same information is vital to making sure they have a sense of belonging at work. Not only does this help support the team members and to keep Tyson in a favorable light, but it helps build consumer and employee trust and retention. Having cultural communities furthers the sense of belonging and helps employees to perform at their best. Making sure leaders understand the two or more cultures within a company at any location helps leaders to guide their employees in the best way. Managers should meet with employees individually at least once a quarter in their first year and twice every year after. This is the time to discuss any concerns, highlight praises, and create a safe place for employees and managers to communicate. We prefer to have all of our American board leaders working in our Chinese factories to also be fluent in Chinese. The first few meetings between managers and employees should have their counterpart from the country there to help facilitate the meeting to make sure cultural norms are met. Showing employees we value their cultural background and will not be forcing them to conform to ours eases unnecessary tension and uncertainty. Managers will have video calls with our main leadership team here in the U.S. once a quarter in the first two years to discuss how they feel things are going. If changes need made, we want to act on them quickly to ensure employees and managers feel valued and not overwhelmed. As the Global Director of Human Resources, I will provide helpful articles and videos and weekly emails to all managers throughout our organization. I encourage managers to reach out to me with questions or concerns, and I am here to help them make sure that they are feeling valued and that everyone has a sense of belonging. With both the acquisition of Hillshire Brands and our expansion into China, we need to make sure we are meeting the needs of our employees. The most important thing we can do is focus on communication. 
Keeping open communication with all team members helps to create opportunities for questions and reduces uncertainty and speculation. With the acquisition, there was a fear of losing jobs. We did our best to retain as many leaders and employees as possible. Having former Hillshire leaders still in these leadership roles helps to ease the transition for the, the former Hillshire employees and they retain a support base. With our expansion into China, we have more to focus on. Again, communication is key, but delivering communication is different than with our American locations. The two cultures are much diff much more different than the employee bases from the Hillshire merger. These blended leadership teams have more than just different styles. It is the goal of these leadership teams to learn from one another on how best to lead this new blended workforce. Both cultures hold core values to be contributors to outstanding leadership, which is why we should translate our vision and mission statements to Chinese and have them represented throughout the factories as a constant reminder of how Tyson operates. This will help all employees to be mindful of Tyson values. When visiting contracted local farmers, teams should be composed of both Chinese and American employees so that the American employees can observe how best to handle these meetings. By observing the mannerisms between the Chinese employees and farmers, the American team members can learn how best to interact with farmers. In China, we must adjust and recognize holidays and business hours to reflect the common Chinese norms. Our main leadership team must visit the Chinese factories no less than once a year. If a team member is able to visit more than once a year, I strongly encourage it. This help shows that our Chinese locations that even though they are far from our headquarters, they are just as important. Tyson Foods is the parent company to more than 20 sub-brands. Our vision and mission statements help each of these brands in making decisions daily. Having a strong core is part of our success. With continuing to acquire more sub-brands as well as continuing to expand, we are learning from our current successes and failures in order to provide employees and consumers with the best leadership and best products. It is suggested that we continue to approach unknown slowly and remain firm in our values, especially with giving back to the communities from which our employees and consumers reside. Taking the time to educate leaders on how best to lead these blended teams in America and outside is vital to our continued growth as the leading competitor in multiple meat markets. As the Global Director of Human Resources, I urge you to consider my recommendations so that implementation can begin immediately to keep our teams performing at their best. I thank you for your consideration, and I again remind you that these are necessary changes for our continued company growth.